what's up? My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So this video is a bit of a niche topic, but if you're looking how to do it, here's what it is. In this video, I'll be running you through installing an Android 11 virtual machine on your computer. Of course, Windows 11 can run Android apps. I'm not too sure what version of Android that uses. And of course, the method that I show you in this video will let you use almost any Android version on your computer. It's not as user-friendly as something as BlueStacks or Nox, but it gets the job done. BlueStacks, unfortunately, only goes up to Android 7.1 at the time of making this video, and Nox Player is currently running on Android 9 Beta. None of them that are found go up to Android 12, and of course, this method will always have the latest versions of Android on it, as well as many versions backwards. This is a developer tool, but of course, you can run practically any app on here, sign into the Google Play Store, etc. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin. In this video, I'll be using the Android Studio software available from Google. There's two ways of getting this. The first is by downloading it off the website, and the second is if you have a program like Visual Studio, you can use the Visual Studio installer. In the Visual Studio installer, simply click Modify, head across to Individual Components, and simply search for Android. You'll see the Google Android emulator, which is what we want to install. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can use the Intel Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager, HAXM. Both of these are what you're looking for. If you're actually going to be developing, it's a good idea to use this tool and download the Android SDK as well. But instead of this, I'll be showing you the method that you'll likely be using, the Android Studio website. In the description down below, you'll find a link to developer.android.com studio. Simply click Download Android Studio, read through the T's and C's, agree and download Android Studio. Simply open up the Gigabyte EXE that's now downloading by clicking on it to automatically open it when it's done downloading. Simply click Yes when prompted for admin and follow through with the installer. So next, you can choose what you'd like here. I'll have both of these selected. Next, choose the install location. For this, I'll be moving it to a different drive, simply E, but you can use the browse button as well. Next, install, and I'll wait for it to install. This will take some time depending on the speed of your drive and your computer. And when it's done downloading, click next. Then make sure Start Android Studio is ticked and click finish. Now we'll wait for it to boot and you'll be on the homepage of Android Studio. Now, unfortunately, I have installed this in the past, so I haven't got the welcome tutorial slash intro screen that you might get, where you're asked to set up how the program looks. Simply just click through it. There's not too much involved there. When you're on this main page, expand more actions, and then make sure to click AVD Manager, the Android Virtual Device Manager. Inside of here, you'll have a list of all of your Android virtual devices. Of course, I have none, so I'll click Create. Now you can simply choose what you'd like to emulate, TV, phone, Wear OS, tablet, etc. I'll be emulating a phone and you can choose anything here, though do note if you'd like the Google Play Store, it needs to have the Google Play icon. When you found one that you want, click Next and you can choose an operating system to download. You can see the version of Android on the far right here, but you'll see it doesn't go up to 12. In order to get 12, we can head across to x86 images at the very top, and all of a sudden you see up to version 12 here. Some of these have brackets Google Play, some of them have brackets Google APIs. What you want to pick is the one with Google Play if you're going to use Google Play. So I'll pick S31 Android 12 brackets Google Play. Simply click download over here to download the actual operating system itself. Click accept, next, and simply wait for the Android OS to download. Of course, it is a gigabyte plus, so this will take some time to finish. When it's done, simply click finish, select the version here, if it's not already selected, and then click next. Then you can simply choose an orientation that you'd like to use the device. I'm sure you can change this later on. You can change advanced settings as well, if you so wish, but I'll be leaving everything basically as is. Some of them you aren't able to select, such as the CPU cores, RAM, etc, etc. So do keep that in mind. Then, when you're happy, simply click finish at the bottom. When it's done, you should see your Android phone listed here. Simply click the play button to get it started. Now, if you're prompted to download HAXM and you have an Intel CPU, all you have to do is head across to the website, which you'll also find linked in the description down below. Once your device is started up, it's super easy to control. It's practically a virtual phone right here. I can even head across to the Google Play Store and sign in with my account. Of course, I'll be skipping through this step here as it's super simple. The only thing you will notice is that you're not able to control V much like other Android emulators. Some of them you may, some of them you may not. But on this one here, you can see I have whatever I have copied in Windows in here and I'm able to click it to paste it in. There's also a paste button here, which should do the same. Then after you've signed in, you can use the Play Store as per usual. 
download programs like WhatsApp, etc. To rotate the phone, there's rotating options here, and of course you can drag it around by the bezels. Unfortunately, I think rotation is turned off. Auto rotate on. There we go. Relatively simple. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.